In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, welcome to the shrine of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Before we continue our celebration, let us first call to mind our sins and ask God's forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly seen in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most gravest fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at the prompting discern what is right and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Kings. The brook near where Elijah was hiding ran dry, because no rain had fallen in the land. So the Lord said to Elijah, Move on to Saripath of Sidon and stay there. I have designated a widow there to provide for you. He left and went to Saripath. As he arrived at the entrance of the city, a widow was gathering sticks there. He called out to her, Please bring me a small cup full of water to drink. She left to get it, and he called out after her, Please bring along a bit of bread. She answered, As the Lord your God lives, I have nothing baked. There is only a handful of flour in my jar and a little oil in my jug. Just now I was collecting a couple of sticks to go in and prepare something for myself and my son. When he have eaten it, we shall die. Elijah said to her, Do not be afraid. Go and do as you propose, but first make me a little cake and bring it to me. Then you can prepare something for yourself and your son. For the Lord, the God of Israel, says, The jar of flour shall not go empty, nor the jug of oil run dry, until the day when the Lord sends rain, rain upon the earth. She left and did as Elijah had said. She was able to eat for a year, and Elijah and her son as well. The jar of flour did not go empty, nor the jug of oil ran dry, as the Lord had foretold through Elijah. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, let your face shine on us. Lord, let your face shine on us. When I call, answer me, O my just God, you who relieve me when I am in distress. Have pity on me and hear my prayer. Men of rank, how long will you be dull of heart? Why do you love what is vain and seek after falsehood? Lord, let your face shine on us. Know that the Lord does wonders for his faithful one. The Lord will hear me when I call upon him. Tremble and sin not. Reflect upon your beds in silence. Lord, let your face shine on us. O Lord, let the light of your countenance shine upon us. You put gladness into my heart. 
more than when grain and wine abound. Lord, let your face shine on us. Please stand. Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth, but if salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything, but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. It is set on a lampstand where it gives light to all in the house. Just so, your light must shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Itong Ebanghelyo na ating napakinggan ngayong araw na ito, pwede siguro nating sabihin isa ito sa mga susi how to be a happy Catholic. How to be a happy Christian. How to be a happy follower of Jesus. First, to be happy is to acknowledge the gift that you received. Meron tayong tinanggap na regalo mula sa ating Panginoon. Be thankful for it dun sa tinanggap nating regalo. And we are being told na itong regalo na ito ay napakahalaga. O siguro pwede nating sabihin na ang pinakamahalaga at pinakamaganda at pinakamahal na regalo na pwedeng tanggapin ni Numan. Ang regalo na ating natanggap ay si Kristo. Ito yung regalo nahawak natin sa ating mga kamay. Pero siguro, hindi eksaktong ganun. Sapagkat, nung tinanggap natin si Kristo, si Kristo mismo ang may hawak sa ating pagkatao. Kaya nga, first, is to acknowledge and to be aware and to be thankful na tayo ay binigyan ng isang napakaganda, napakahalaga, at napakamahal na regalo. Second, to be a happy Catholic, we must learn to share this gift. Ang regalo na ating tinanggap ay hindi magtatapos sa atin. Ito ay dapat ibinabahagi ipinamimigay, pinagsasaluhan. That is what it means to be a happy Catholic, to be a happy Christian, to share the gift that we receive. Nung nakarang linggo lamang ating sinariwa yung pagpanawag ng Espiritu Santo sa mga apostoles, sa mga disipulo ni Jesus, at sa mahal na ina, Sinasabi sa atin na tinanggap din natin itong Espiritu na ito, ang Espiritu ni Kristo. 
isa sa mga halimbawa no? o isang pagsasalarawan ng Espiritu Santo ay this is the breath of God. The same breath that God gave to a lump of soil kaya nagkaroon ng unang tao that gave life to Adam. It is the same Spirit, the same breath. And if we have received this breath of God, yung hininga ng Diyos sa atin, hindi ba kapag tayo humihinga, paano ba tayo humihinga? We learn to inhale and exhale. Hindi pwedeng sa buhay ng tao, panay-inhale lang, subukan ninyo. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Hindi kayo makakahinga. We should learn to breathe out, exhale. At ganyan ang pagtanggap natin sa regalo ng Diyos. We receive, but we also give. And that is what it means, what it means to be happy. Hindi pwede magtatapos lamang sa atin. Perhaps most of us came here no? asking for favor, asking for gift, asking for whatever we want God to give us. But remember, hindi pwede magtapos sa atin. Kailangan ito ay tumuloy sa iba at kalaunan tayo ay dadaanan lamang. We will just be a conduit no? ng grasya ng Diyos. Because in the end, sabi nga sa ating Ibanghelyo, ano yung mahalaga? Ano dapat yung iniisip ng tao kapag meron siyang tinatanggap? To glorify God. To glorify the Heavenly Father. They may see your good deeds to glorify the Heavenly Father. You become the light of the world to, be, to glorify the Heavenly Father. You become the salt of the earth to glorify the Heavenly Father. And that is what it means to be happy. We have to keep our focus more on glorifying God and less on ourselves. More of God, less of self. More of Christ, less of self. That is what it means to be happy. We now stand and let us offer our petitions. Let us pray to God, the Father of light, that we may be faithful to our mission of being the light and salt of the world. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may show the power and radiance of the Spirit to all seeking the truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the brilliance of the Gospel may enlighten men and women entrusted with decisions for the development of peoples. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we call out to be salt and light of the world may become a source of hope and comfort to our fellow men. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick, the depressed, and the heartbroken may discover the light of Christ through the ministry of the Church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That eternal light may shine on the faithful departed. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions and the intentions of this Mass. Lord God, as we pray for others, we ask you to help us shine in their sight so that they may praise your goodness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Stand. Pray, my dearly beloved, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, our Holy Father Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us now pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please lead me. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil, and lead us to what is right. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. The Mary Help of Christian Seminary System is inviting all young men in high school, college, or young professionals to consider a vocation to be a priest for the service of the Archdiocese of Lingayen, Dagupan. A vocation to the priesthood is a special grace not given to all men. It is great blessing for a family to be able to offer a son or brother to be a priest. Those who are interested to enter the seminary are invited to approach any of the priests in the parish who will gladly assist them in the seminary admission requirements. Let us beg the Lord to send more priests to his vineyard in Lingayen, Dagupan. Let us now prepare to receive the final blessings. Thank you. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the blessing of the sick and the blessing of the rosaries and other religious articles.
God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will, be gratefully, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, all in other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. 